Hello again YouTube, I am back for one of the final videos of the season. I hate to say it, but it's getting really cold out really fast. Uh, it is mid-October here in Michigan and uh, temperatures are dropping near freezing uh, at night. We've had a lot of rain this last week, tons and tons of rain, so hopefully the ground will be easy to dig. Um, I'm actually at a park in a little town that I grew up in. I uh, was down here for the morning and thought, what the heck, I'll stop by and do some digging at this little park. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to expect here. Uh, I don't think anybody's ever metal detected this, this little stretch of, of park here along the lake. Um, it's a pretty small town, so chances are pretty low that anybody's been here. Um, try to be out here as long as I can. It's pretty cold. I'm actually starting to shake already. It's, I think it's about 60 degrees right now. Um, nobody's here. Completely empty. I hope it stays that way. All right, one of the first holes I dug here is on this little, this little hill. And I got this little guy. It looks like, I don't know what this is. I mean, that's got some gold on it. I don't know that it is gold. But the chain itself, I think at one point it was gold plated. You can see some gold glinting there. But as to what that was, I couldn't tell you. Part of a chain maybe at one point. It's interesting. All right, now we got some coins. Well, at least one. <laughs> it's a nickel. 1973. Headed in the right direction. All right, just a little bit away from that first hole that I found the uh, chain in. Just dug this plug and this little guy popped out. Penny. Looks like it's 90s. But I think there's something else in here. Yeah, there is. So let's take a look. Fishing weight. That's why that signal was so strong. Now I keep finding these little pieces of wire, and it's driving me crazy because it's setting my metal detector off. And uh, couldn't for the life of me figure out what the heck these were and why they would be here in the park. And then I realized sparklers for 4th of July. They do 4th of July stuff here in America. And uh, these are going to be everywhere. So, yeah, I think I'm in trouble. I'm going to have to try to avoid these. Right at the edge of the playground here. Got a pretty strong signal. I see it peeking out right there and I'm getting a little excited. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah. I think that's a, uh, I think it's a winding mechanism for a little toy. Kind of cool, but not what I hoped it was. Oh well, on to the next. Okay, right in the uh, playground here. Got an interesting little find. A little star pendant. I don't think it's anything special, but it's kind of cool. Well, this got me pretty excited. I had a surface find here. And it's a bracelet. And as you can see, it's, it'll focus. It's 
definitely gold, gold in, <laughs> but I don't think it's gold. It's a little bit too rusty in spots. I was excited for a second there though. It just feels a little bit too thin and brittle. It's too bad. All right, guys, let's go over what I was able to find. Of course, as always, a thousand million pull tabs. I found more pull tabs here than really any location I've ever gotten before. Uh, these little guys were really annoying. I found probably 30 of these. Uh, I threw out most of them because kids could step on them. These are those sparklers um, that people light on the 4th of July. You got a tent stake, some old nails and wire and bolts and all kinds of fun stuff. Lots of fishing weights uh, with the lake. Obviously being right there, I was pretty sure I was going to find some of those. Got a bunch of change, all clad. Oldest being uh, some of the pennies from the 60s and some 70s nickels. Um, interesting little trinkets. We've got this little guy. Not quite sure what that is. Looks aluminum maybe. Um, some buttons. It's really old. Ribbit button, little pieces of jewelry, this little windy thing for a toy, and then the, uh, the bracelet that I thought might have been gold, but I'm pretty sure it's not at this point. So overall, didn't really find anything too great today, um, unfortunately. But maybe I'll come back here again and try some different places, see if I can hit the older part of the park. I'll at least take the change, if nothing else. Before I wrap today's video up, I did want to talk about a book that helped me quite a lot over the summer. You know, I started metal detecting back in July, and when I first started, I, I had no clue what I was doing. I, I really didn't. Didn't know how to use my machine, didn't really know what I was doing at all. And uh, so I was given this book, and it's called The Metal Detecting Bible by Brandon Neese. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. I will put a link in the sh uh, show description today so you can follow it and uh, maybe purchase it if you're interested. Uh, Brandon's not paying me to, to promote this book. I just really enjoyed it and I feel like for those of you out there who are just starting metal detecting or maybe have even been, been doing it for a while, it, it might help. Um, I really enjoy it and I think Brandon's videos are absolutely incredible and I hope to make mine as, as good as his someday. Um, but for those of you looking for an interesting read over the over the winter break, for those of us in uh, in the states where it's going to snow pretty soon, I, I highly recommend this. I think it's pretty good. So until next time, hopefully I'll be able to squeeze in one more video before the winter hits. Keep on digging, guys, and thanks for watching.